children, I have come to tell you a story, the kind of story you've never heard before. Love is a two-edged sword. It can build when used in a positive way, but can destroy when used in a negative way. I will never forget what my eyes have seen in this village. It will forever remain green in my heart till I join my ancestors. The story that I'm about to tell you now is called The Sacrifice of Love. Long time ago. My elders. Yes, yes my king. A toad does not run if you get time for nothing. Remember? It's either it's pursuing something or something is pursuing it. I can go. I am finished. I went to my farm this morning to check on the crops I planted. Only to discover that my crops I planted had disappeared from the region. <laughs> Please help me. Mama, what's up? Please go to my rest. <laughs> My king, as I'm talking to you right now, <laughs> and now my daughter is critically ill. She cannot walk, she cannot talk, she cannot do anything. My people, please calm down. I'm not exempted from this. God! Go to the village town crier. Tell him to summon all the villagers here right now. Go! My people, please calm down. Today the gods must answer us. I'm not exempted from this. The chief priest will be here shortly. Please calm down. Calm down, calm down. People of Kota Kingdom, people that all of you are about to farm tomorrow. There will be no farm or market tomorrow. There will be a very serious issue to be discussed tomorrow. He that has here, let him hear. Market tomorrow. There will be a very serious issue to be discussed tomorrow. She that has here, let him hear and tell others. Hi, people. Please take heart. I know what is going on in the village. I've sent for the eyes of the gods and we'll be here shortly. So My please king. calm down. My king, how long? Eyes of the gods, I greet you. My people are dying. Strange illness everywhere. And we don't know what to do. Yes, I know. The gods knows everything that is happening in this village. <laughs> Long time ago, a young man from this village died as a process, died in evil forest as a process of committing a hey! hey! Why me? Why me? The prince got me pregnant and abandoned me. No one in this village wants me again. I am now a disgrace to my family. What am I living for? What am I living for? What am I living for? No. I cause this land. I cause this land that I shall die on. There shall not be peace in this village. Their crops shall die. Their animals shall die. Their people shall die. Why? I have to take the risk. 
taking this poisonous sleep. I can't live. What am I living for? No. Sacrifice yourself! Like I said, innocent life was taken. And innocent life must be turned back. My people, you heard it all. But who is willing to go for us? As for me, I have only one son who is the heir to the throne. My king, my king, please. I know what you're about to say. I have only one son. He's going nowhere. Please, my king, please. Then who is willing to go for us? I will. Hey! Appa, Appa. Appa. I will go. I will do whatever the gods want. I will sacrifice myself to take away the pain and the agony of our people. My son, thank you very much. May the gods receive your soul. I will feed your family as long as I continue to breathe on this earth. Thank you very much. <coughs> Old and young will sing your praise from generation to generation. Thank you very much. It is done. Come to Shinai tomorrow by 10. 10. 10. Just give me the One I don't blame you. I don't blame your life. My sisters, wonder shall never end. Whoever believed that Akpan, who just got married to his beautiful wife Ochanya, chooses to sacrifice his life to save this village. Mm. I never heard the wife is even pregnant though. Yes, so she's pregnant. Or don't you see how big her stomach is? Oh, the poor woman. May the gods of our land protect her and her unborn baby. Mm. Even the gods know that I will never allow my husband to do such action. Mm. The king has a son. Why did he advise him to go for the sacrifice? My sister, it's like you don't even know what is happening. Didn't you see the look on the queen's face when the king mentioned their son? Oh, my sister, I saw it too. She was very bitter to hear the king mention their son in a matter like this. My sister, it's getting late. Let's hurry to the stream. <laughs> She's my wife, Ochanya, the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. Why is she here? She has come bid her husband farewell to the land of her, his ancestors. Because I'm waiting! Can 
I have a word with my husband privately. Agri, 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 agri. Yes, but remember, because I was in. My love, the sacrifice is not meant for this community alone, but for the good of our unborn child and you. I don't want any calamity to befall you and our unborn child. You know I cannot allow you to come with me. Moreover, the gods only choose one person. <laughs> because I want it! Please don't go. Please. I love you so much. I can't lose you now. <laughs> I know. That's why the child in your womb is a male child. You must teach him wisdom when he grows. And tell him. I love you. Please don't go. When you give birth to a child, <laughs> you must name him Akwan. Because I want it! Tell our child that I love you. Please, Akwan. I must go. Please, <laughs> was our peace and harmony return back to the land. The sacrifice of one person brought back peace to the land. If not for Akban, what would have happened to the good people of Kyoto? I want to ask you a question. Can you die for love? Can you sacrifice your life for the sake of your country? Can you be like Akban? On Nelson Mandela of South Africa, enough is enough. Let's rise and do the right thing.